Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. There is nothing better that we can feed our souls than these beautiful words that we have been reciting and singing and listening to. These are the things that will cure our hearts. These are the things that will cure our homes. These are the th these are the words that will cure the situations that we are going through in this in this place right here in this masjid and in this community and in the entire world. And it is by the the baraka and the nur of these types of gatherings that tribulations on the other side of the world are are averted. Tribulations in the lives of other Muslims and other that we don't even realize are happening. Uh, are averted because of the, the blessings that are descending upon us right now in this place. And likewise, their gatherings are benefiting us. And we are all together benefiting each other because we're one ummah under one Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it is the, the barakah of what he taught us. And the, to the extent to which we connect ourselves to what he taught us will be the barakah in our lives and be in the barakah of our children. And it is part and parcel of these gatherings that we are aiming through them to invigorate our hearts and instill in our hearts an increased love for the Messenger وسلم, that will not only make us happy and joyful and blissful in this life and the next, but also that will raise us to a level that we desire and yearn to follow him in every situation that we can, that we not only seek to learn his deen وسلم, but we seek to find any situation in which he did something that we want to learn what he did in that situation so we could do it. And we, in the people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are like this, that you see them mumbling something under their breath and you don't really equate what they did to what was going on, but you realize, oh, there was some lightning storm or there was some thunder that, that, that came down and they're reciting the dhikr, the, the sunnah of the Prophet salam, the dua of the lightning. Or there was a cold day, or they were, and they were citing the dua of the the, day, the cold day. Or they were entering a house, or they were leaving a house, or they were putting on something, or they looked at a mirror, or whatever it may be, and they're they are reciting these things because they want to follow the Messenger And these are the adhkar, imagine the, the, the obligatory prayers and how they pray and seeking to make their outward and inward in line with the prophetic guidance And it is this love that will allow us to reach the complete completeness of Iman, the trueness of faith, as the Messenger وسلم, said, that none of us truly, truly, completely believe until we love him more than all of the creation and more than our parents, our children, and all of humanity, and that we love his guidance more than all other guidance, and that our, our desires become in line with what he brought وسلم. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by the blessing of what is happening in this gathering, and by the blessing of the angels that are surrounding it, and by the blessing of its connection back to the Prophet وسلم, to fill our hearts with uh, such a love of the Prophet وسلم, that will drive us to follow him in our private moments and in our public moments, in our speech and in our actions and in our beliefs and in our perceptions in our life it's in this life and in the next that we be raised with him sallallahu alaihi wasallam and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for a good ending for all of us and all of our progeny and all of those who, are, who we love and to have real and to relieve the, the tribulations for the ummah and to give them ease and well-being and love of the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa sallallahu alaihi wasallam